For the first time in a very long time, too long for a lot of fans, the magic and the noise is back at the pit. The Lobos are enjoying one of their best basketball seasons in years, if not close to a decade, really. And fans are backing them full speed ahead. It's like the fans here were just begging for something to get excited about, yeah. and it looks like they have it in this year's team. Lauren Green joins us live from the pit. And Lauren, we've seen the hype over the last few months, but now the national spotlight is finding the cherry and silver. That's right, Ryan. The Lobos have been rolling through this season with national looks from some big media outlets, including the latest Sports Illustrated article that not only displays the rise of this team this year, but it also gives takes a look at how special the pit and New Mexico can be when they're all rallying behind Lobo basketball. The pit's no stranger to loud crowds in big basketball moments. Back in 1999, the pit was ranked the 13th best sporting venue of the century by Sports Illustrated, beating out college and professional arenas and fields. But for the last few years, the term the pit brought was gone. Now in Richard Pitino's second year leading the Lobos, he's already resurrected this program and brought life back to fans. It's kind of nice for us to have, like, you know, this team, and I think it's a really good thing for the school as a whole and, you know, to bring some attention to us. So this is my first time sitting in the student section, and it has just been, like, a phenomenal experience. Like, we get so loud. It's so, like, rocking. With only three losses so far this season and a couple of national rankings, the Lobos are attracting eyes from some big outlets. Sports Illustrated's Kevin Sweeney wrote an article called New Mexico Basketball is Back Home and Better Than Ever. The title speaks for itself. Sweeney mentions the eight long years since UNM made it to the big dance. He also goes on to talk about just how hard New Mexico sports were impacted from the pandemic when the Lobos couldn't even play any home games. And now, the pit even has Coach Patino speaking up on the culture every game. I'm not just saying this. That was the loudest building I've ever been in. <laughs> By far, not even close. Our fans were amazing. Without a large major professional sports team in town in the pit's rich history, when this basketball team's rocking, New Mexico is on the map. So the Lobos are back at the pit Friday night against Air Force. And last time I checked, there's already been over 12,000 tickets sold. So you already know it's going to be a loud one back here at the pit. Guys, back to you.